Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very exciting video. I accidentally just deleted the footage of another video that I filmed before that I now have to refilm. So hopefully this video will make me happy as well as you, hopefully, but I'm going to be doing another swatching video of some sparkly shadows that were my purchase for January. Um, if you didn't watch my get ready with me, I'm on a low buy and so I'm <laughs> not buying as many things and so this was what I used my budget for for the month of January. And that thing was this middle row of shadows here. I don't have that many empty magnetic palettes so I can't like put them all in like one palette alone. But they are the Shine by S, some Shine by SD shadows. They are the reserve collection, like the original reserve collection. So there's seven like sparkly shifty shadows here. I figured let's just swatch them together and then I'm going to just put maybe a couple of my eyes while we're here because why not? This is a black on indie brand out of Halifax, Nova Scotia. Halifax has a very special place in my heart because my girlfriend did her undergrad there. So I spent a lot of time traveling back and forth um, to Halifax. I love it there. I, it's such just like a cute little city and I'm so happy always to support black owned brands and Canadian brands so it's just I'm just so happy to try them out and I've been hearing nothing but absolutely amazing things I've they've really blown up in 2020 and I'm just so excited to finally like have some of these shadows for my own so yeah let's just start swatching so the first Shadow is obviously the reserve number one. I'm going to hopefully see if I can close up on these, but this, <laughs> you'll have to bear with my shitty shade descriptions, but this looks like a light like champagne peach with a like pink, pinky peach shift to it. It looks really, really beautiful. I haven't even swatched these yet, so this is very, very exciting for me too. So this is reserve number one. Oh, that's so pretty. Just oh, beautiful. It's yeah, like a really strong pink shift. And in the mirror that's behind my camera, it also looks like almost greeny, like it has a green shift to it. Again, of course, I don't have the shade descriptions with me right now, but, but I'll leave them in the description box below. And so this is reserve number two, and this is like a deeper peach. Looks like it has like a goldy peach base with a really strong like green lime shift. Almost like, I guess, tealy as well. Oh, these are so pretty. So that's what it looks like on my finger, if it will focus. And then this is the swatch. Ooh, that was a horrible swatch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but there you go. There's only seven, so we can take up some more room in my arm. But yeah, it's a really like strong peachy pink with like a limey, almost like tealy undertone, or tealy flip rather. It's so pretty. And again, in the mirror behind me, it looks like really uh, peachy. I guess I'll show you what, this is what reserve number one looks like, like really up close on my finger, if it will focus on my finger, maybe not. This is reserve number three. It's a pink, has a really strong pink base with a really beautiful like gold shift to it. This one feels a little bit rougher. They're definitely like more sheer toppery shadows. That's reserve number three. So it's a lot pinker. And then it has a really like strong gold flip. That's so pretty. And then that is what that looks like on my finger. Again, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. 
Then we have Reserve number four. So this is like a periwinkle shade. It has like a purpley blue base with a really beautiful purple shift to it. This is the one that I feel like it's between this and another one, but I feel like I might use this today. And this is Reserve number four. I'm just going to get a little bit more of that and swatch it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see these super clearly on camera because they are a little bit more sheer and I do have like such a pale skin tone that they're not going to be so different from what my skin is. But hopefully I can get the swatches up close in different lighting and you can kind of see the shades and the shifts better. This is reserve number five. It has, this is like, this is like a purple with a pink pinky gold shift. So this is reserve number five. So pretty. The, the um, number four definitely has like more blue to it and this is like a pinky purple shade. And then if you can see, that's what it looks like on my finger. Ooh. And then we have reserve number six, which this is like a blue with a green gold shift. So this is reserve number six. Oh, that's so pretty. Maybe I'll actually use this today. I think I might because I've done a lot of like periwinkle purpley looks recently. So I might use this. And then the last one, and then that, oops, sorry, that's what it looks like up close on the finger. And then the last one is reserve number seven. This is also so pretty. This is like a yellow with a blue shift to it, it looks like. Yeah, that is so pretty. Maybe I'll use that on my inner corners. That's really beautiful. So those are all, they're all the shades. They're really basically like, sheer sparkly topper like iridescent shades which normally I don't really have a lot of I generally go for like more of an opaque like metallic shade but I've I really wanted to get more into these like iridescent glittery sparkly shadows this year and so I'm so excited to have these in my collection and play with them so I think I'm going to like I said use this blue because for some reason it's really just calling my name so I'm going to put some shadows in my crease and then we'll be back and I'll just put some of these probably on my lid and on my inner corner I'm so excited I just put a little bit of shadow on my lids and my lower lash line. I guess I'll have everything that I used in the description box as I usually do, but I guess I will also share it with you now. So from the Venus 2 palette, I used the shade Filter as my transition shade. It's just this very light blue. And then from the Warrior 3 uh, palette by Juvia's Place, I used the shade, it's called Gola. It's this light blue shade. I use that in the majority of my crease. And then from my Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Meadow palette, I used the shade um, Crushed Blueberry. It's this deep blue. Actually, I forgot to put something on my brow bone. So I also used the shade Sandstone from this palette on my brow bone. But I haven't done a blue look in a while. I'm really loving it, honestly. Okay, so now it's time to apply some of these shadows. So I'm going to, like I said, use the uh, this bluey greeny shade. It's the reserve number six shade, and I'm honestly just gonna put that all over my lid because I feel like the best, um, the way that these shadows are going to shine the most is just applying them all over the lid. 
So I'm going to pick this up on a flat brush. I'm going to spray it with some water. And then I'm going to just put this all over my lid. So this is how I normally use all of my shimmery, metallic shadows. So this is how I'm going to use them today. Oh, so sparkly. And from, as you can see from the swatches, I definitely, uh, they definitely don't have like a super strong base. They're more like sheer, sparkly, shifty shades. But sometimes I don't mind just putting those types of shades all over my lid because they give that such a beautiful effect. That's so pretty. Definitely a little bit sheer, but not like in a bad way. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, well actually it's probably more than I needed to, on my finger and just pat that over my lid. Oh my god. This is so fucking pretty, I can't even, oh. This almost, almost makes up <laughs> for deleting the video that I deleted today. Oh my fucking god. That is stunning. That is so pretty. I get why everyone loves these shadows so much. Like, look at that. Oh. You can't see. Okay, now I'm quickly going to do the other eye. That is ridiculously pretty. I just, I am, oh my god. I want to put every single shade on my eyes. Oh. And now I think I'm going to take the shade uh, Reserve number 7. It's this uh, like yellow. I also gave that a little spray. And I'm going to put this in my inner corner because I think blue and yellow is going to look so nice together. I do have glitter like all, like sparkles fully all over my face. There are worse things that I could have though. Oh, that's so... <laughs> I literally can't fucking stop saying, oh my god, that's so beautiful. That's so pretty. But it, like, it is. <laughs> fucking try. If you were here in person, you'd be saying the same fucking thing that I am. Oh my god. Okay. Beautiful. Stunning. Okay. Let me try to, oh, yeah. But I do have glitter everywhere. <laughs> And I'm using a glittery highlight today, so it's just, it's all right. It's all right. We're going to roll with it. And because why not, now I am going to take the shade Reserve number four. So it's that periwinkle shade that I almost used. This I'm going to, again, take some, oops. Take some on a little flat brush, spray it, give it a little spritz, and then I'm going to put that on like the inner part of my lower lash line just because I want to use, use more. Oh, holy shit. I don't know if that is like, I think that's looking a little bit more vibrant because I'm, I'm obviously putting it over shadow that's already down. That's a little bit deeper, but that is beautiful. That's so beautiful. Oh Lord. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that same shade and put that on my pinky and just intensify that with my finger along my lower lash line. Look, I don't, I just don't know if you're going to be able to see how beautiful these are, but they're just so pretty. So that is all, that's my eyes done. So I'm just going to put some liner on and put some lashes on and then do my lips. And then I'll be here, I'll be back to conclude this video. Okay, and this is the finished look with lashes and my lips on. I used the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Honeymoon, I believe. Yeah, I just like kind of faded it around the edges so it wasn't such a harsh line. 
Um, but NYX sucks. <laughs> um, if you haven't, I will try to link it if I can down below. Go check out 100 Palettes Later video on NYX and how they are shitty. I encourage you to go do that. She did a really good video on it. Um, but back to these beautiful sparkly shades. I love these so far. I mean, I don't anticipate not loving them. Like, specifically for these types of eyeshadows, I feel like I can kind of get a feel for it because I don't typically have issues with creasing and they're just like sparkly eyeshadows. So unless something goes really, really wrong, I think I'm going to continue to love these. But I will definitely do... Um, more videos with these and continue to use them and talk about them obviously i really want to do like videos using all of these like sparkly this is like my palette of sparkly shadows um so i hopefully will do like looks using all of these at some point that's kind of like my game plan is just i've been working so much that i just can't film as much as i would like to um but that is a story for another day and it also doesn't help when i fucking delete the footage that i already filmed anywho in terms of like pricing and stuff i don't know the prices of the individual shadows but i do know that the bundle the reserve collection is 60 dollars canadian that's what i paid for it so that's a little under ten dollars per shadow if you buy them in the bundle and i think that is really great um again i'm just happy to support a canadian brand support a canadian black owned brand that produces such amazing beautiful sparkly shadows and let me know have you tried by sh have you tried shine by sd are you interested because so far i'm very happy with these let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see from me and i will hopefully see you next time bye Ooh, i might edit that out